Tēnā koutou katoa. Apologies for not being able to make it tonight, but uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to uh, speak to you um, through through the lens and uh, speak to you about what it, what it's meant to uh, to be named in the Hawke's Bay Sports Hall of Fame, uh, to even be mentioned alongside some of the greats of um, sports uh, men and women uh, in Hawke's Bay is is really humbling and uh, a little bit embarrassing if I'm being completely honest, but. I, I'm really thankful um, for the nomination and uh, to be recognised in the way that I've been recognised. Um, it's been a, a long journey and, and a journey that continues through my coaching career. Um, and uh, I've had a lot of uh, amazing people along the way help me. To be able to achieve some of the things I did, uh, to be honest, it just took a lot of hard work uh, and it took a lot of sacrifices, not from uh, just myself, but uh, from my, my family and my friends, uh, some of whom are there tonight. So thank you so much, you know who you are. Um, but to be honest, uh, it really just comes down to hard work and that's a, a trait that's really stuck with me today. Um, sport uh, and basketball in particular has, has given me the opportunity to do some amazing things around the world, to, to represent my country, um, to play professionally for a period of my life. Um, and, and, and some of the highlights that I've had have just been just really, really amazing. I was really fortunate to be a part of a uh, a, a fun time uh, with the Tall Blacks from uh, the Sydney Olympics, which was just an amazing experience, uh, all the way to uh, when I finished playing for the Tall Blacks in 2007. Uh, by the end of it, had a couple of Olympic Games under my belt, a couple of World Championships under my belt, and some historic moments for, for the sport of basketball in New Zealand uh, along the way. Obviously, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get there without a lot of help. Um, and when I was thinking about some of the people I wanted to thank um, for, for being recognised in this way, um, some of the people that, that really popped up uh, outside of my, my, my whānau um, were, were my coaches. And from, from Roxy Smith uh, back at Nelson Park Primary School who, who taught me the, the basic fundamentals and the footwork to be able to, to, be able to do a layup. Um, I, I still remember that to this day to Neil Swindell, who took me away on my under-14s, uh, Hawke's Bay, my first road trip um, and, and that tournament we played in at uh, Walton Nash Stadium in Hutt Valley. Uh, that, that tournament just, it sparked a, a fire in me, the, the, the amount of fun that I had, the, the competitiveness that, um, that, I, that I found within me has, has stuck to this day. Um, Paul Trass at Napier Boys High School, he taught me it was okay to make a mistake on the floor just as long as you busted your butt to try and make up for it. Um, that stuck with me to this day. Tad Baldwin um, took a young 18-year-old Māori boy from Napier out of Hawke's Bay and recruited me up to Auckland. Um, and whilst it was a tough, tough decision at the time, uh, a decision that you know, opened up a lot of doors, uh, one of them being playing for Keith Muir and the Tall Blacks in 1999 for the first time. And to be able to achieve that goal of uh, playing for my country and representing my country and my family and my friends and all those that had helped me before, uh, to, to, to Sean Dennis, who spent a lot of time with me uh, in, here in Hawke's Bay playing for the Hawks. Um, just an amazing um, teacher of the game. Uh, I mentioned Tab Baldwin, but, but Tab and Nenad, my, my Tall Blacks coaches um, for a long, long time and, and mentors and, and, and have also helped me uh, become the coach I am today. Uh, I'm just so appreciative of, of everybody that's helped me, but in particular those coaches that, that believed in me, that took time, uh, and had faith in me uh, and, and helped me achieve my goals. I'm, I'm forever grateful and um, I, I just try to be a servant of the game in my role as a coach these days and, and try and pass on my knowledge because I know how important that was to me um, and, and helping me achieve my, achieve my dreams. So uh, once again, thank you so much to Sport Hawks Bay. Um, it's been a, an absolute honour. Um, I hope everyone there has a great night. Uh, please don't let Paul Wanitana talk too long. He loves the mic, so get him off stage as quickly as you can. Uh, but I love you, brother. Um, and also to all the uh, um, awards uh, recipients and winners tonight, congratulations on a, on a great sporting year. Um, I wish nothing but the best for you in 2019. Poor Maria.